In this video, we are going to go over surfaces in the SitePulse software. You'll first want to tap on the surface icon in the ribbon. You'll notice that we have two options, an apply surface offset and a generate surface. We're going to go ahead and tap on generate surface. You'll notice that on the screen that we have a bunch of points that we measured earlier. We're going to go ahead and enclose these in a boundary. So it's asking us to either define a boundary by measuring points or tapping them. We're going to go ahead and measure the points. So I'm going to start out in standing mode. So I'm going to start by tapping on the antenna settings icon in the ribbon, change to standing mode, and tap accept. You'll notice we now have a plus icon, so I'll level up at this point, tap the plus icon, and now go ahead and walk to your next point. Go ahead and level up, tap the plus icon, walk to the next point, And from here, we'll switch to walking mode. So tap on the antenna settings icon in the ribbon, tap on change to walking mode, then tap accept. You'll notice we now have a play button in the lower right hand corner. Go ahead and tap on the play button to measure your point there. You'll notice that the boundary is now closed back to the first point. We're gonna go ahead and walk right down this wall And since that boundary is automatically connected back to the first point, all you have to do is make sure all your points are enclosed and then hit the close boundary. Now you're in the generate surface pop-up. You have a few options here. The first is you could add this to a new design. We are gonna go ahead and choose to add it to our current one. A few reasons why you'd add it to a new design is if you were going to track a surface as it was going down and you didn't want to clutter up your current design, you could do that. So we're going to go ahead and tap on the options and select add to current. And then we can give this surface a name. And we're just going to call it a training surface. and tap done on the keyboard and then tap accept. So now that surface has been generated. So to bring that surface up, you can tap on the gear icon, go into site, and now you'll see that training surface at the bottom. So you can tap on that to make it your current surface and tap accept. and then tap accept in your setting screen. Now you currently have that surface as your actual surface. So if I were to walk over it, you'll see that I instantly get cut fill updates. So the next step is, say you wanted to offset this surface down. So you wanted to dig down, let's say a foot. You could actually tap on the surfaces icon in the ribbon, and this time tap on apply surface offset. So our current surface is training surface. We're going to do an offset of, let's say, one foot. And then we're going to check the direction and change it to below. Then I'm going to tap done on the keyboard and accept in the surface offset. So you'll notice in the ribbon that there's an arrow pointing down from the surface icon. That means this surface is offset below. It's just a quick indication to show you that your surface has been offset. So now you can see that we have a cut fill reading showing that we need to go down in these def different areas out here. To quickly change surfaces, if you go ahead and tap on the surface icon, apply surface offset, you could select a different surface in the surface menu and then just hit accept. That would be another way to quickly change surfaces rather than going into the gear icon. In the next video, we'll go over the cut fill feature. For more training, please visit learn.trimble.com and set up your free account.